Starting today, it's going to be pretty difficult to use public transportation in San Jose following last week's mass shooting. Light rail service, those bus bridges that have been set up along those routes, they've now been suspended indefinitely. And we have Crown Forest Sarah Stinson in San Jose with the latest on this and how you might be able to get around. Sarah? Yeah, that's right. VTA says it's rail service suspended indefinitely and those bus bridges also suspended near the those uh, they had the buses picking up people near the light rail uh, stops and that's because here at the scene it's still closed. The VTA rail yard, the investigation is ongoing into that deadly mass shooting which killed nine workers and if you can believe that, that was almost a week ago. Uh, tomorrow will be one week if you can believe that. Time flies. So they're still, you know, kind of moving things around, trying to, you know, of course, provide service. But this is a difficult time because they still have a lot of their workers, you know, not coming to work. They're grieving. Uh, they're attending funerals. Members are supporting each other. So VTA Rail Yard, that's closed. They said uh, that they're focusing on regular bus service. But even so, it won't be providing in those bus services along the light rail routes. And uh, they said regular bus service will be affected heavily. It already has been. Uh, there's less frequent service because of the massacre that happened on May 26th. Um, and so what they said is the light rail service is suspended and they're going to do everything they can to make sure that, uh, you know, they provide rides, but there's no estimate for when that service will, will resume because this investigation is ongoing. You can see in the video from some of the vigils, this is a time where they're obviously trying to respect their workers that have gone through the worst thing that they could ever go through. Their co-workers being killed, some of them went through it themselves, were there that day, and then if you can just imagine something like this happening at the place of work that you've worked probably for a very long time, it's very traumatic. So VTA is going through a lot right now. And meanwhile, they have people who depend on it every single day with the rail service, with the bus service. So stick through, stick through this with them. As you can imagine, it's a difficult time. Now, if you're heavily affected by this because you depend on VTA, there's a few things you can do. You can call them and you can use their uh, transit app for real time information. And that transit app will definitely help you see when things are going to be coming, when there's no longer uh, maybe a route that you used to take. And that way you can stay on top of it, but uh, I think it's a time, Daria and James, where we're all going to have to be very patient with VTA as they go through such a traumatic loss. I'll, uh, I'll send it back to you. This morning, I'm going to be trying to figure out like what people can do, mm -hmm. uh, but that transit app should be very, very helpful. Yeah, a lot of adjustments people are going to have to make here to get around. Uh, thank you very much, Sarah, for the update. 507, there's a group of people putting